Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate course. In this demonstration, I am going to walk you through how to assign Microsoft Teams admin roles within Microsoft 365 Center and Azure AD portal as well. So like we discussed so far, there are multiple ways you can assign Teams admin roles. You can go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center or Azure Portal, or you can assign via PowerShell as well. So let's head back to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center to see how to assign Teams admin role. So I'm in my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Once you expand users, you can click on Active Users. Basically, what we are trying to find is how to assign a Teams admin role. So I'm going to pick a regular user. And once you select a user, you can go under roles, select manage roles, and you can expand show by category. So I'm going to go and enable admin center access. So as you can see here, there is Teams service admin role available over here as well. This will give full access to Teams and other Skype admin center. So we want to see other Teams role as well. So if you scroll down towards the bottom, you can see other three roles. So there is Teams communication admin, Teams communication support engineer, Teams communication support specialist, and Teams service admin. You can click on this information button or hover your mouse to see what these role entitles to, what a user can do or cannot do. So that's how you can assign a role in Microsoft 365 Center. Now let's go to the Azure portal and see how you can assign a role in the Azure portal. So I logged into my Azure portal using my global administrator username and password. I go under my Azure AD. Under Manage, there are Users. I'm going to pick a user. This time, I'm going to pick Jerry. And right under the profile, there is Assigned Roles. So click on Assigned Role. And on top of the Assigned Role, you can see that there is Add Assignments. And select a role. So I'm going to search for Teams. As you can see that there are four Teams roles available. So I can basically pick up a role if that is what I want to do or assign to this user. I select the role and click next. And basically I can make it available as an eligible role or an active role because I have configured Azure AD privileged identity for this particular account. So that's how you can assign a role for a user under Azure portal as well. So now we have learned about how to assign a Teams admin role for a user. Let's go and see another demonstration where we are going to learn how to implement threat management for Microsoft Teams. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.